how to add some texture to your type in Affinity Photo. This is made up of very basic components. Just go up to Window and down to Layers, and you can see this type, it's still live, so you can modify it from type to any other word as well. It's just made up of simple black and white adjustment, as well as a pixel layer. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create those different parts of this type. First thing to do, create the brush stroke. And I'm just gonna go over here to the paintbrush tool, select that, go to Window and Brushes, and you can use any brush, but a really good one, something like Sprays and Blatter and Dropler, and simply apply it. So double click, and you can edit it in all kinds of ways. I would suggest go to Dynamics and change the Hue Jitter, Saturation Jitter, Luminosity Jitter, and have it about those sort of settings. Once you've done that, click Close, and then just apply. And you can change the color. So just go over here, double click, and change the color. Maybe go with the green, close, and now apply again. So you've got something like that very quickly. And that's just basic brush. You could use all the other brushes. You can also, of course, combine it with other brushes as well. There's loads of different tools here. Use maybe the paint mixer brush. Maybe use the smudge brush. All those things can distort and modify this. But also, I'm going to add a bit more textural variation by using a filter effect. So select the Move tool. With the Move tool, you can now go up to Filters, and you can go to Distort, and you could use all of these ones. All the great displays is wonderful. Mirror, Equations, all can be super useful for creating textures. But I'm going to go with Deform. So with Deform, I can now add some pins. Very quickly, just add some pins, like that. And you can then distort this and just drag all this texture and you can make all kinds of unusual textures for your type simply by moving that across. And you can of course still add additional brush strokes to the design afterwards as well. So you've done, done this, just put that across there and you've got that. Now this could be useful for also for layers, maybe adding for great backgrounds as well. Whole range of different designs this is useful for. Also, simply go to filters and repeat deform and you can see sometimes it creates an even more unusual design. So undo at that point. You'll also notice you've got some transparency, you've got background, you're seeing this design, you can see through. What you can do, you can add some layer effects to give it some depth. So right click, go down to layer effects. So layer effects gives you all options for the 3D, bevel and boss, drop shadows, all those things, all simply by right clicking this layer, or of course, any layer you've got selected. So layer effects, and now I'm going for 3D, you could go for Bev and Boss. Straight away, you can see it's got some depth, and you can tweak it more. You can go to Profile, click there, go down here, Standard Profile, or just create your own. And you can modify this, and you can see as you do that, it will create different, I think it gives a great bit of depth there. Lots and lots of like, hollows and sort of splatters through that, breaking it up. and click close. Well, this design I can now use as my texture for my type. I'm actually gonna turn it all into a raster layer. I don't want it now, I'm not gonna modify anything, but you can always keep it live if you want. You don't have to convert it. But simply go to layer, and you can go down here to rasterize, and deselect that, and rasterize. So it's now all a pixel layer, single pixel layer. If you're enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel. Also, click like or dislike. If you don't like it, please let me know in the comments as well. Always great to hear from you. With the layer selected, go up to Edit and Cut. Now go over here to the Text Tool, and that's this Artistic Text Tool. You could, of course, use the same with the Frame Text Tool as well. And I'm just gonna create the word Type. Could be anything. Doesn't have to be word Type. It could be in any font, etc. Let's just resize that, make it a bit bigger so you can see it. With that selected, what you can do, go to Edit and Paste Inside. Whatever you've got in the clipboard at the moment or pasteboard, you can now paste it into this type. So, and there it is. So inside, and you see you've got your texture. Now you might be happy with that color. Maybe that's what you want. Nice, colorful design for your type. But if you want a texture, a black and white texture, you can add adjustments. So let's just go to Window, 
and layers. And now you can see the structure of this. So with this selected, the pixel layer selected, and I like to do this, otherwise sometimes the adjustment layer might be applied above or whatever. I prefer just to make certain it's selected, then go to layer, down to new adjustment layer, and you can use any of these, all pretty good, and they all can create black and white effects if you modify different settings. But I'm going with black and white, and now it's straight away black and white. And you can modify the blue, Sign obviously depending on the colors you've got in the image, you obviously will have different settings. And you can obviously add presets and do many other things. So maybe go with that. That's the one I'm going with. And close. Now, what you can also do is you can modify the type as well. You can, of course, change the text. You can also add layer effects to the type. So with that selected, go to the, the actual type, right click, and then go down here to layer effects. In layer effects, you can do bevel, again, or 3D. All kinds of options are possible with these. Combination as well is really useful, so maybe change that. Also, if you want, maybe add an outer shadow as well. And close. And there you have it. Very quick textured type in Affinity Photo.